Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree, and welcome to the assembly video for our Angel Luminary. This is a very beautiful piece, perfect for the upcoming holiday season. Um, I could see this lighting up a living room, maybe on a little side table, um, or even on your dining room table. Uh, so, we're going to begin by putting together some simple things. Let's start with the base. Okay, and here are some of the pieces for the base. Uh, it's essentially all put together, almost. You just have to glue some of these little tabs together. So as always, make sure that you fold everything at the score marks before we get going here. And we're gonna start uh, over here. It doesn't matter where you start. I'm gonna stay away from this big piece right now because uh, it's kind of heavy and we'll, we'll leave that for last. So I'm going to go over to the left of that and just begin putting some glue on the little triangular tab there. Tuck that behind the neighboring wall, the little vertical wall there, and just press and hold that in place. Shouldn't take more than a few seconds. Okay, and we'll move on. And if at any time during this video you find yourself wondering how I'm moving along so quickly, it's likely that I'm using less glue than you are. So ease up on the glue a little bit and that should make the process a little bit quicker for you. Okay, so we'll put glue on the next tab and just hold that in place for just a few moments. And that's all it should take, okay move that out of the way while we apply glue to the next tab and this tab is just going right behind this wall here right on that surface so fold that up line it up should be a straight vertical line here and just hold that in place if you do get a little bit of glue that shoots out just wipe it off with your finger get it out of there um, that's actually going to be covered up anyway so it's not the end of the world if a little bit of glue shoots out we have a decorative panel that's gonna go over this anyway, so. Okay, make sure you spread that glue out nice and thin. Bring the next section over. Line it up, nice vertical line there. And just hold that in place. So technically you can make this without the base, but um, it's gonna look a lot nicer with the base, especially after we put all this beautiful decorative paper on it okay so here we are now we're getting over to the section that has what i'll call the lid attached to it and it's a little bit heavier if you want you can fold it back get it out of the way so that you can more easily pinch it like this otherwise you're left trying to do it like like this which is a little more difficult less precise Okay, give that a few seconds. And then finally, we have one more little tab here. If you find it kind of difficult to get your nozzle in there, just fold that tab up against this wall here. Okay, and then bring that in, line it up, nice vertical line, and press and hold. And just give that a few seconds to set. Oh, we're actually getting some thunder right now, believe it or not. It's been a very mild fall, almost summer-like, not quite, but okay. So we have it all together now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue on all of these tabs. And I'm gonna go a little bit heavier with the glue here because I'm gonna spread this glue out. And also I don't want it to dry prematurely while I'm going around and spreading the glue out. So spread that glue out to the very edge of each of these tabs. Okay, just like that. And if you kind of felt that the glue was a little bit tackier on some sections, just spread it around. Okay, so we're going to close this up. We're going to focus on getting this side lined up first. So make sure it's nice and flush with the very edge, nice and centered. 
And then the rest of these, for the most part, will fall into place. You may need to nudge the walls in just a little bit, just a little push. Okay, just like that. And just continue kind of pressing around the very edge, around the perimeter until everything is set. There we go. Take a look at your seams. Make sure everything is nice and flush. That looks great. Okay. Now we have this piece here. This is what's going to create the little lip so that when we do put the little angel on there, it won't go sliding around. Just get these tabs nice and folded and the sections folded as well. We just have a few little triangular tabs that we need to glue to the adjacent walls. And then we're gonna glue that in place. I put way too much glue on that. I'm just gonna use a scrap piece of paper to kind of thin that out a little bit. Okay, and then tuck that in and behind. Line it up, another vertical line, straight up and down, and hold that in place. There we go. And again, this should go pretty quick. Okay, so a little bit of glue there, don't need a lot. Bring that in, line it up, and press and hold. Give it a good squeeze. When you squeeze it, it's really pushing the glue out all over the place on that tab, and some of it may leak out. Just rub it off and wipe it off real quick before it has a chance to blemish your paper. Okay, one more here. Almost done. And we've got another one here. Nice and easy. Line that up and press and hold. Okay. And let's go here. We've got two more tabs. There's one. Okay. And just hold that. And that just leaves one more little tab here. And I should be able to get my nozzle in there without any problems. Spread that out nice and thin, line it up, and press and hold. See as I squeeze there, a little bit of that shot out, and that's okay. Just wipe it off. And there it is. Okay, so now you'll notice on this piece that we have a series of little markers here. Okay, and these markers are simply to help you center this. Okay, they're kind of just little guides. So what we'll do is put some glue on the bottom of this, and I'm going to go a little bit, I'm going to go a little bit thicker around the perimeter because I'm going to spread this out all the way out to the very edge. My nozzle is there. We go. Yeah, just spread that out. That's good. Okay, make sure you keep your fingers relatively clean. And just line it up using these little guides here. If you're not dead on, it's okay. There we go. And then I'm gonna use a little dowel to get right into the corners there. And there we go. Okay, if you need to just kind of check um, the area where the two sections meet, it's going to be hidden once we put the angel on there. So it's not a huge deal if it's not making complete contact throughout, but try to make it look as seamless as you can. Okay. All right. So next we're going to grab these two pieces here. Okay. And you'll notice that they both have tabs. Okay. So what we're going to do just grab one, doesn't matter which one, and it's going to go on like this. It's going to be flush on the bottom, and it's going to be kind of coming up a little bit above this actual base. So let's start with the middle on each of these. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put glue on this surface. Because it extends past the surface or above it, uh, we don't exactly know where to not put glue. So I would much rather apply it to this surface rather than having to guess. OK, 
Okay, so just pop that on there. Use the little folds there, the corners, as your guide. And then you can kind of run your finger along the base of it to feel and make sure that it's, in fact, flush with the bottom. Okay, so that looks great. Okay, now we're going to go over to this side that has the tab. Okay. And let's apply the glue to this surface here. And we can bring that over. Again, just kind of run your finger along the base of it just to feel and make sure that it's nice and flush. And then we can take and put a little bit of glue right on this tab and fold that over just like that. Okay, we're gonna leave this one kind of hanging for now. We'll grab the other one. So obviously these three go on these sides here. So we're gonna grab this and we're gonna start over here. There's an empty one here, empty one here, and an empty one here. We're gonna start in the center. Okay, so empty, empty, and there's the center. We're gonna put some glue on this section here. Grab the center of this one, pop it right on, just like we did the last time. Making sure it's flush on the bottom. Just run your finger along that very bottom. You can kind of feel, you can see and feel that it's flush. Press that down. Now we're gonna go over here and we'll apply glue to this entire section, including the top of that little tab from the other piece. We're gonna fold that over. Okay, and that, that little tab there makes it so that if you do kind of have a little bit of a, a mess up, that little tab will make it look all seamless so there's no gaps. Okay, there we go. And then we'll take this one, get this one glued down. Fold that over. Line it up nicely. This is this piece is one of the end pieces that has a tab on it. Okay, there we go. Looks good. And then we can take a little bit of glue, place it on the tab. That was a little too much. And pop that right onto that section there. And finally, you can put glue on this section and close it up, just like that. Again, making sure the bottom is nice and flush. Beautiful. Okay, perfect. You can see how nice that looks. And this is a nice graphic 45 paper. We've got, uh, yeah, it looks like there's some little snowflakes on there. I think this is from Warm Wishes, the Warm Wishes collection. Unfortunately, a lot of graphic 45 stuff is, you know, quickly retired. I know they, they bring back some of it, but not quite all of it. Um, also, on these pieces here, you'll notice that there's a series of little markers and that's for these little flourishes that go right here. So the ends of these are gonna match up with the little markers there and there's gonna be one on each side. So there's a total of six. And for this, I would just, just do little dots of glue. You don't need a lot. It's a very little delicate piece. And the last thing we want is for the glue to shoot out all over our beautiful paper here. Okay, so just get that nice and centered. There we go, beautiful. This is a gold foil. So if you two are using a gold foil for that piece, um, just make sure your fingers are clean because that glue will definitely blemish any gold foil that you get glue on. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this up and that's gonna pretty much do it for the base and we can start working on um, doing some little paper piecings for the angel. And that's gonna go together quick. This is a relatively simple project. Uh, I think this is a great one for anyone that's just starting out with 3D projects with Dreaming Tree. So if that's you, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised and very happy with the end result once we get it all done. Okay. So again, I'm just going to wrap this up. Uh, use those little guides, those little markers to help you with the positioning. Sometimes with pattern paper like this, those little markers might get lost. Uh, but you can see the little circle here it needs to be lined up with this little valley and the rest of 
pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so I've got a handful more to go here. Okay, so putting my last little flourish in place, which concludes the assembly of the base. And then we're gonna do some paper piecing to get some of the various components of our angel prepped and ready. And then we'll put together the actual structure. There we go. Okay. All right, beautiful little base, ready to go. This is a perfect little spot for a red rhinestone or pearl, obviously. Okay, so that's it. Um, now, one thing we can do, uh, this is one of the main structures of the angel. Here is the other half. And what we can do is we're gonna actually gonna glue on the vellum, okay? And one thing that, actually before we do that, let's go ahead and connect these two sections together. You can see how they go together like this. Now obviously this is cut out here so that it doesn't cover up the little cutouts on this little element here. But either way, I'm gonna go ahead and get your glue onto this tab, nice and easy. And I'm gonna spread this glue out to the very edge of the tab just to make sure that everything looks seamless when I join these two sections together. You can actually put this down flat on your surface. Okay, and just line that up as accurately as you can. And I'll show you a little trick here. You can take it and fold it over onto itself and you should be flush right at the top there. Now this is a pearlescent paper. So it has kind of a, a coating on it that sometimes makes it a little more difficult to glue things to. In this case, gluing another section to itself. But just have to be patient and let that glue really work its way into the fibers and start to dry. I don't even know if you're using that same paper. If you are, then you just keep that in mind. Okay, that looks good. All right, so now we're gonna flip this over and we do have some beautiful gold vellum. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, we're gonna put vellum on all of these pieces with the exception of the last one. And that's because we need to close this up first before we put the vellum in there, okay? So this one here, we're gonna leave that one alone. And you can see here, we wanna make sure that we cover up all of the little cutouts and you kinda of have a, a general idea of where you need to place your glue. So I'm gonna use a series of dots. No one's really gonna see this because it's gonna be on the inside. So you can feel free to kind of get the, get a little sloppy. <laughs> get it out of your system now while you can. Okay, just pop that into place. Make sure you're covering all the cutouts and that you're also within the score mark area so you don't infringe over onto the other section. Okay, and you can see what that's gonna look like. Okay, so I've got the next one in there and I'm gonna keep on moving along here. Just little dots. If you are concerned with your recipient seeing the actual vellum from the inside, you could technically, actually, let me check this before I, no, you can't, never mind. I was gonna say, you could maybe sandwich this on the front, but this piece is a little bit too big, and that's okay. This just makes it easier. One of the things that we aim to do during the engineering process is make things easy to assemble. So we think about every single possibility and every skill level so that this can be enjoyable for pretty much anybody. Okay, there we go. I got one more that I can put in place right now. So let's do that. And then we're gonna actually take and um, glue the panels in place as well. I don't know why there's a fly in here. It's almost December. 
kind of strange. Okay, there we go. Pop that into place. Again, making sure you keep it within the confines of each section. Okay, so you can see how beautiful that gold on white looks. We're gonna leave that one alone for now. Let's flip this over and we can actually take and glue down these panels. Now you'll notice that there are two panels that are slightly cut off and that's where the arms are gonna go. So they're purposely cut like that. So that's gonna be the front and the rest of these can just go on. We can just put these on right now, all of them actually. So let's do that. Let's start with this one here. Nice and easy with the glue. Don't overdo it. Otherwise you're gonna be spending an eternity waiting for things to dry. Throw a little bit in the middle here where this design is. You don't need to get every inch of it, but just a little bit will help. Okay, now this one is the one that's cut off. So for this, all you're doing is just lining it up with the little cutout, and that's gonna ensure that you have the correct placement. Okay, there we go, just like that. And moving on to the next one. So I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but I think this one's gonna go relatively quick. The sleigh was actually very quick and uh, frosty probably be the, I don't wanna say the most challenging because it was very easy to do, but definitely the most time consuming, but totally worth it. He came out really cute. And there we go. There's that one. Let's find the one that's cut off again here. I wanna make sure that we're matching them up correctly. And not much to this, pretty straightforward. I got a feeling a lot of people are gonna like this one. Definitely captures the essence of Christmas with all these beautiful colors and obviously the subject matter. There we go. That one's not sitting very flat. Beautiful. All right, keep on cruising here. So I try not to blab too much during all of the videos. Um, there were moments during the, uh, during the frosty video where things were getting a little repetitive and monotonous. So I had a very thorough story time, kind of getting everyone up to speed on <clears throat> the whole baby situation. And so if you want to hear me talk about that, I would watch that video because I don't think I'm gonna repeat myself again in this one. Plus, there's not much to this one. We're almost done. I'm getting these panels in place and uh, we've got a couple hands we gotta put together. Um, there's a little collar. And yeah, then I'm gonna talk about the little ping pong ball that we're incorporating into this design. That's something different. And I don't think we've ever used a ping pong ball in any of our projects. It's just seemed to be uh, what we're looking for and what we needed to complete the head. So we're gonna see how that works. I actually took, and I'll talk about it in more detail here in a little bit, but uh, I took a drill, drilled a hole in it uh, for two reasons. One, uh, so that I could stick a dowel through it while I covered it with glitter. And I haven't really tested it quite yet, but I might try to stick some fairy lights into the ball to make the head illuminate. So we'll see what that will look like. All right, so the panels are in place, beautiful. And at this point, what we can go ahead and do is close it up. Okay, so we have this tab here. We're gonna apply glue to the tab. We'll close it up and then we'll finish it off with that last little piece of vellum. Okay, spread that glue out to the very edge of the tab. And we should be able to take and leave this flat, fold it in half, and the other end should just line up with that tab naturally, because this is a symmetrical piece. Okay, I'm using my palm. I've got more surface area on my palm to help me get that in place. I'm gonna fold this 
like that. Take a look at it. Looks good. Wonderful. And don't let go of this prematurely. You just want to make sure this seal or the seam is nice and sealed. And there we go. Okay. All right. Now we also have um, to just kind of thicken things up a little bit. Um, we're not going to do that just yet, but we have these tabs. We're going to glue these underneath just to make that a little bit more sturdy. And now we just need to put that last piece of vellum in there. So just like we did before, I'm just going to do little dots. And we've got kind of a little tight space to work in when you get towards the top there, but it's not that difficult. Just take your time. Not doing anything different this time than I was when I put the vellum in place before. You can see those little dots there. Okay, just put that flat on your surface. Get any tabs out of the way. And just pop that right into place. Just try to drop it nice and easy so you don't spread the glue around. And just give that a nice press. And there you have it. Okay. All right, so now what we can do, we can take and apply glue to these tabs here. We definitely want to get the glue out to the very edge of the tab. Okay. And then take it and fold it over in on the inside wall and just press and hold that. You can use your table to help you. Let me move this out of the way so you can see better. You can see I'm just pushing down on the tab there, just like that. And then move over to the next one. Get that glue out to the very edge and just fold it over onto the inside and press. Okay. And that's going to make it nice and sturdy for us. Okay. And press that down. There we go. A few more to go. There we go. Clean that off. Press it down. Anytime you can use your table to glue two pieces together, this thing, it's a rock and it's flat. You're not going to crease your paper, warp it, bend it, tear it. And that is giving you an upward force that tops anything that you could do with your fingers. Okay. There we go. And the last one. There we go. Okay. And close that up and press. There we go. Okay. So this should fit on here nicely and it does. Now I have some beautiful cord here that I'm going to take and I'm going to hot glue to the very bottom of this. So if you have something cool like this sitting around by all means, um, jazz it up with something like that. And, um, next, all right, next we're going to put the little arms together. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to lay them out like this and you'll notice that, um, you have, there's a little G here and then there's also like a backwards G. Okay. Uh, we're going to put glue G for glue goes on this surface. This is a tab that's going to get glued to the back or to the inside of the section with the little G on it. Okay. So you can kind of form it like that if you want, I would. Okay. And we want the, we want the opening to face, um, towards the back. Okay. So we're going to take these and glue them right here. You're going to bump it or nudge it up right to where this cutoff is. So it's kind of like your guide and that's where the hands are going to be. Okay. So again, remember this is the center. This is the left. This is the right. You can keep this flat for now. We're not ready to make it uh, dimensional just yet. <clears throat> okay. But again, let me go through this one more time. Um, lay it out so that you have three sections and then you have the tab. You can tell it's a tab because this, the tab actually angles up more dramatically than this last piece here. So again, just lay these out like so with the two G's next to each other. Okay. Cause if you have them like this, the G's are apart. 
So put them like this, so the two G's are next to each other. And then just to, on this one, just to the left of the G is gonna be one of the hands. It's gonna go like this. And just to the right of this G is gonna be this hand, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, flip it over, I marked it with an X. And we're gonna glue this in place, and you can see how just below the hand, there's a straight edge. We're gonna line that up with the very bottom of this structure so that just the hand sticks out. You don't want that straight edge sticking out, just tuck that in so that that straight edge is flush with the actual edge of this piece here. Okay, so what we can do is apply some glue to this part of the hand all the way up and pop that down into place. Again, making sure that little straight section is flush with the actual structure, just like that, okay? So press that down, and then we're gonna take and apply some glue to this tab, like so. You can take that and just kind of spread it out to the edge. And we're gonna take this the section with the G on it and pop that right on top. Okay, if you need to, you can take a little dowel and push the rest of that up onto the back of the, the G section. Okay, so we are gonna put glue on this and that's gonna get glued right here so that when, when this is out, we're gonna have, you can see the hands from the front like so. Okay, so again on this one, just to the left of the backward G is where we're gonna glue the hand. And don't forget to keep that straight edge lined up with the actual edge of the structure. Again, we don't want it sticking out or protruding out. So take a look at it from the front if you have to. That looks good, press that down. And now we're gonna apply glue to this tab here. and tuck that in and line it up. Okay, taking my little dowel. You can actually put this on your surface <clears throat> and then press down with the dowel like so. And there we go. So you should end up with two hands and if done properly, it should look like this so that you have them coming out like that. Okay, at this point, I think it's safe to, and actually we need to do it anyway. We're gonna glue the, gonna glue the hands on. So again, flip this around. Make sure that you're putting it on the right side. You don't wanna take this piece and accidentally put it here so that the hand's facing the other way. Okay, so just be conscious of that. We're gonna apply glue to this entire surface with the G on it, like so. Okay, you can actually do this flat and then press, put this in place, get it nice and centered, and line it up with this cutoff. Okay, make sure it's nice and centered there. You should have an even border on both sides, and just continue holding that in place. There we go, just like that. We'll take the other one and do the same thing. So again, the very edge of this right here where my finger's rubbing needs to match up with where this is cut off here. Okay, so let's flip this around and apply our glue to the section with the little backwards G on it. There we go. I don't know what the heck's going on here. Got something following me around. Okay, it's kind of hard to see because that hand's in the way. So just grab whatever vantage point you need to be able to see. Pardon my head. There we go. So I'm gonna try to keep it as consistent as possible. There we go. And just press that into place. Hold it down. If you need to, take a little dowel. Okay. All right, so now, uh, one other thing we can do, we have this little overlay for the sleeves. Give that a little bit of gold trim. You can just glue that on. You can do both sections at the same time if you're comfortable. 
If not, you can just do one section at a time and then peel back the other half and glue it on separately. Whoops. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to actually take this and pop it right on top of the where the score mark is, the fold, so the corner basically. And then just give that a little nudge up or down just to make sure that it's lined up properly. Okay, so that's what that should look like. And then we'll grab the other one and apply our glue. Now do the same thing here. Just drop it right onto that center where the fold is, and then just press it down onto both sides. Make sure it's nice and flush with the main structure. And just hold it in place. You can actually do this flat still, which is nice. Not often do we get to continue using our table for leverage this far along into a project. So definitely take advantage of that. And this needs to be nudged down a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Okay, everything's looking good. Now, I'm gonna grab our little collar, okay? And you'll notice on one side, we have a small little tab. It's right here. We're gonna take that, apply some glue, nice and easy. And just join that to the other side make this thing one solid round piece, relatively round, I guess. And you can actually take this and do this flat as well. Got that lined up and now I'm just pressing it down flat. And you can see this is the seam here and now it's all connected, just like that. Okay, so the collar is together now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these tabs to join this to the main part of the body, okay? And this is completely symmetrical and the same on all sides. So it doesn't really matter which way you put it, okay? Obviously you wanna make sure that it is aligned with the sections. You don't want it like sideways like that. You want each of these surfaces to align with one of these surfaces, okay? And what we're gonna need to do is kind of flip it over. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of hold it in place. We need to just get this anchored with one of the tabs. You can see the tabs poking through there. I'm just gonna put a drop of glue on one of the little tabs here. And we're gonna get that anchored in place. Okay, so you can see that tab that's got the glue on it and just press that up against the inside of the surface. I'm gonna flip it around this way so I can just make sure that it's lined up correctly, and it is. Okay, so that first tab, you can see it there, right there. Let me point to it here, this one right here. That one's in place. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to the one opposite. So we just did that one, we're gonna go over to this one. We're gonna put a little bit of glue right on that and just press that up against the wall on the inside. So I'll show you here with the, the dowel extension of my finger. We take this and press it up against this surface here. Okay, and I'm just gonna do that with my finger from the top. Again, just make sure everything stays nice and aligned. Here we go. And then looking at it from the inside, you can see we have this tab here and this tab here in place. So we're gonna go over to one of these. It doesn't matter which one at this point. Uh, I'm gonna put some glue on this one here that I'm pointing to. And just like we did the first two times, just press that up against the inside. You can see here, pushing it up against the inside. We'll look at it from this angle here, make sure everything is nice and lined up for me. That looks great. And now I'm gonna go over to the side opposite of the side that we just did, okay, which is this guy here. I'm gonna take that and press that up against the side wall there. Okay, I'm gonna do that with my finger up here. Very simple. That just leaves two more tabs on the inside here. Okay, try to keep your fingers clean. 
And I'm just gonna put glue on both of these while I'm down there. You can see the last two tabs. There's one. And there's the other. And I'm just gonna take these and press them up against the inside. We'll do one at a time here. And there we go. Okay. So there you have that. Okay, so let's get the wings going here, as well as the halo. This is the main piece here. I've got two of these. This is actually a, a white glitter, and I did take and ink this with a little bit of turquoise, just to give it a little extra dimension. So let's get the glue going onto the little glittery part of the wing. Get that glued down to the main structure here. And what you wanna do is match up the interior cutouts here because there is on the outside an even border all the way around so just make sure this is all matched up and you can see around the perimeter we have a border so no border inside but border on the outside okay do the same thing with the other side finally getting some rain out there it sounds like it's torrential that means that cooler air is on its way We've been very fortunate this last few weeks. It's been so nice out. Okay, there we go. Again, matching up the interior cutouts, even border around the outside. Perfect. Okay, and then finally, the little halo. Same thing applies here. You can see how there's a little cutout here. Just wanna match that up so that the ends of these match up with that. Uh, no border around the inside, slight border around the outside. Just be very careful with this, nice and patient. There we go. And just drop that in there. Pardon my head. Again, no border on the inside. even though I have a border on the inside. I don't know what happened there. I didn't get it lined up correctly, that's why. You know, this was one time I tried to, uh, tried to use a damp rag to clean that off and it just did not work very well. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and you can see we've got this little shape here and that matches up with the shape here on the back. Well, all these shapes actually, but that's just gonna get glued on just like that. Okay, it should match up perfectly with this little piece so that on the f when we see it from the front, it looks like that. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do is put glue on this surface. Make sure you're putting it on the back piece. Okay, because this is our front right here, because we got the two hands here. So the one on the back. And take that, line that up, nice and centered. Oops. Okay. And press that into place. Give it a good squeeze. And there we go. Okay, so that's that. And then finally, all that's left to do is, well, here is our my little ping pong ball. Um, you guys are gonna have to experiment with this a little bit. Um, I did drill a hole in it. I'm gonna see how much light actually penetrates into it. I tried to put some fairy lights in there. It doesn't look very good, because um, it doesn't, the, the, what's it called? The light doesn't get spread very well. Okay, but you can see, I'm gonna hot glue. Uh, let's see here, I'm gonna hot glue. <laughs> oh no, my angel's head fell off. It's not Halloween, guys, but you can see what that's gonna look like. Very pretty. So I'm just gonna wrap this up here by putting a little bit of hot glue around the very top of the opening. Okay, and then if you did put a little hole um, in your ping pong ball, then make sure that it's facing down and just pop that right into place and that hot glue should hold it very securely. OK, 
Okay, give that a few seconds to set. And there we go. You could technically kind of bring this back a little bit more. So it's, just give it a nice, easy bend. You don't want to bend it too much, especially if you've got the foil on there. And you can see how cool that looks. So don't forget to put a little light in there. As I mentioned, take a look at the final photo for ideas on uh, where to add bling. And you can throw a little bow up at the top. Don't forget, whoops, if you have a little bit of cord that you want to use to dress up the very base of this, feel free to do that as well. I'm sure you guys have plenty of beautiful things in your stash. So that's going to do it for our Angel Luminary. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please visit our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell so that you get notifications uh, every time we release a uh, video. And also, if you ring that bell, an angel will get its wings. <laughs> So don't forget to do that. If you make this or anything from our latest bundle, I'd love to see it. And so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Official, where you can join myself and almost 40,000 other dreamers that inspire us daily. So happy Christmas crafting. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos. And also, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.